Hi, I'm Gracie Murphy. Welcome to our podcast, Testify. Uh, Today, we're going to be talking about believing for good things. Um, First, before we start, uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and share this message with somebody if you really like the message, and and like it too if uh, you like it when we get to the end of it. Uh, Today, I want to talk about specifically believing God for good things. There's something that really kind of irritates me, and I want to share it with you today. Uh, Many times, those of us who are in ministry or those of us who are on the mission field, we tend to, how do you say, not believe for good things. We believe for okay things. We should be believing for great things because God says that he will provide all of our needs according to his riches and glory. And that doesn't mean that we need to be extravagant. Uh, I think more than anything, uh, it means that he wants good things for his children. So I'm going to give you an example. One example was a missionary who I know they struggle with their budget. They don't have a lot of supporters. And she was in need of... Uh, a computer, a laptop, and she was she had old ones that refurbished ones, and she posted on uh, her Facebook page that she needed sponsors to help her buy a used computer uh, because her computer was breaking down and all of that. And when I saw it, my first thought was, why do you have to ask for a used one? And I think a lot of times in the minds of missionaries and people in ministry is that we want to be good uh, stewards of the resources that God has given us, but we don't think that we deserve to have good things, you know? And so I typed on there, well, I believe, I'm going to believe for you to get a new use, a new laptop. And I posted right on her page so her sponsors could see that she needed this laptop because she needed it to do the work of the ministry, to do the work of God, for her to be able to communicate with them. And that I knew that for $280, she could get a brand new laptop through Amazon Smile. And um, we could help it get here because I had somebody coming really soon who could bring it. And I just said, I'm believing right now in the name of Jesus that these sponsors will realize the need for a new laptop, not a used something that will break down in another year or have problems in another year, but a new one that will last for a couple years and give her the ability to do quality work, to work in excellence for the Lord. The Bible says that you have not because you ask not. The Bible says... Ask and keep asking, keep seeking, keep knocking, and you will receive, and you will find, and the door will be opened. I know I messed up the scripture, but uh, that basically that's what it says. And I don't believe that our God is a God of used stuff and old stuff and broken stuff. I believe our God is a God of excellence. And when it doesn't mean extravagance, I'm not saying that we're to have extravagant things. Yes, we are to be good stewards of what we have. But I believe that we can do our ministries debt-free. I don't believe that we have to take out a loan to buy a piece of property. I don't believe that we have to take out a loan in order to have a vehicle. God can and will provide the things that we need to do His work because you know what? It's not our ministry. It's His ministry. And our God isn't going to do a ministry with piecework, broken things, and old things, and used things. He wants excellence. So... This message pretty much mostly is for people who are in ministry, but I also think it can be for people in regular life. I don't know what else to call it, people not in ministry. God wants you to have a decent place to live. He wants you to have a decent vehicle. He wants you to have whatever it is that you need to survive, to do the work that you're doing, to live. And he says that he'll provide all of the things that we need according to his riches and glory. And yes, there may be a downturn in the economy, or yes, there may be a destruction from a hurricane, and people can say, oh, you're not going to be able to fundraise. Well, I'm going to tell you, my God is the God of provision. My God will provide all of the things that we need, 
And he has provided cash for us to buy the first piece of property, cash to buy the second piece of property, cash to buy the vehicle that we bought, two years old uh, program vehicle that has now got 340,000, no, sorry, 400, three, no, 340,000 kilometers on it and has never given us any problems other than brakes and shocks and batteries and clutches with tires, which, which are things that happen normally, especially when you're driving around in the mountains and stuff. But, um, you know, he's, he also paid for all of the construction. We've built five buildings. We're building buildings six and seven. Don't have the money for it yet. I call that fourth in Jesus' name. But uh, everything's been paid for, everything. And we have new equipment when we need new equipment. And uh, we, can do, uh, we can do an excellence in our job. We can do everything that we do for him with excellence because he is the God of provision. So the next time you ask the Lord for something, don't ask for something old and broken. Ask for something new, and he will provide it. Watch. I challenge you on it. My friend, within 20, no, 48 hours that weekend, it was a Friday, I posted that I believe that $280 that you need for this laptop will be promised and supplied for you. By the Sunday night that weekend, she had all but $20. Can you believe that? And she did end up buying the laptop, and my mother brought it when she came to visit us. And there it is, provision. God will provide. He says, he says that he loves us, and he'll provide for us, and to ask for the things that we need. And like I said, don't ask for any more broken stuff, because if I see it, I'm going to start talking about excellence and how God will provide and I'm going to state that you're going to get a new one and your sponsors will support you and do that. So, yes, I love my God. I love my God of provision. And he will give us everything that we need. So, God bless you. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, and hit the like button. Because this was a really good message. So, we'll see you again next week. God bless.